again next property of this Riemann integration second property that is every continuous function f on a b is integrable in last property we have to show that every monotonic function is integrable on that interval a b here we are going to prove every continuous function on a b is integrable this theorem which is already we know that a bounded function is integrable if and only if for that partition and epsilon that u f c minus l f c less than epsilon means a bounded function on a b is integrable if and only if for each epsilon greater than 0 there exists p on a b such that u f c minus L F field less than epsilon. Now, function is continuous for epsilon greater than zero. This function is uniformly continuous, and therefore, this uniformly continuous. We know that the definition for uniformly continuous. We are given the interval A B for x y belongs to A B. Take these two members belongs to A B. Then x minus y with modulus and less than delta means whenever modulus value of x minus y less than delta then mod f of x minus f of y is less than epsilon upon b minus a of course it is less than epsilon but for our convenience we write here epsilon upon b minus a and then this equation is 1 this is about continuous uniform continuous Consider partition P as usual. P is it is T zero less than T one is less than T m is equal to P and maximum between them is less than delta. Maximum uh, T one minus T zero, T two minus T three, T one, T three minus T two. Maximum between them is less than delta. Now let as if we assume that this is maximum or minimum value of that intro because the function is boundary function and uh, we have assumed maximum and minimum value on this interval tk minus 1 tk now mod f of x minus f of y for x and y belongs to ab we write here and for each x y belongs to ab m of f tk minus 1 tk minus m of f tk minus 1 tk this is the difference and we know that supremum and infimum as well as and other basic but from 1 we write this RHS is less than from upon b minus a ok mod f of x minus f of y is less than epsilon upon b minus a therefore we write m f of tk minus 1 tk minus f of m of f tk minus 1 tk less than epsilon upon b minus a now we consider this expression this is important uh, we know that this statement a of phi minus l of phi is a summation of m f tk minus 1 tk and small m f tk minus 1 tk bracket into tk minus tk minus 1 then put for this value which comes from b minus 1 uh, b minus a this is constant they put it outside then only we write sigma tk minus tk minus 1 and uh, calculate it by putting k equal to 1 and 2 3 then t1 t1 cancel t2 t2 cancel t n minus 1 also cancel only remaining part is t n and t0 what is t n t n b and t0 t0 is a therefore b minus a we write here b minus a and b minus a b minus a cancel then uf minus lf is less than x and if it is happened, 
if EFP minus LFP laser is long, then function is integrable and hence we write function is integrable. This is also an important property and easy property.